All right, what's up everyone? Haven't posted a video in a while, but I'm bringing you how to make a simple image rotation um, using just jQuery. You don't need any plugins or anything for this. So I have a folder set up with just two images here and my index.html page, um, which is blank. It's just a blank file. Um, so first things first, go to jQuery, click on download jQuery, and just go down to the download the compressed production jQuery and you don't even need to do anything with this just copy the URL and uh, let's open the index HTML so I'm not gonna follow like correct um, like HTML stuff I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna go ahead and type let me make this a little bit bigger alright so you say script source equals and then you just go ahead and plug that URL in there and then we're gonna end the script might be a little bit too big. There we go. All right. So we have that. And now I'm going to do CSS. So style type equals text slash, slash CSS. Um, normally, you would just uh, link to an external CSS file, but I'm just going to make this all in one document. The point here is to show how to do the image rotation and not the actual like HTML part. So. Um, First, we're gonna have to have like an image container, so I'm just gonna say, um, so we're gonna make a div called image container, and I'm just gonna say width is 100% and height is 500 pixels or something like that. And I'm gonna make the background color red just so that we can see um, what is going on here. So let's open this with uh, Google Chrome. First things first, got to add in the div ID equals, got to add that in there first. All right, so now let's see. All right, so now as you can see over here, we have our red box, um, which, you know, just so we can see background color, we know um, what our box looks like. So we can actually, we'll just leave that there. And then we're gonna do actual image. So I'm just gonna say image one. And what you do is you say background image. Um, we're just gonna do like URL and mine's one.jpg. And uh, I like to do background size. You can do whatever you want, but I like to do cover because it will fill the entire div so like if it's if the div is wider than the image then the image will stretch the div width and if the div is taller than the image the image will stretch to the div height um, and it's proportional too so it's not like you're gonna get a you know um, a stretched or compressed image it'll scale properly depending on on which one so um, anyway so that's background size cover and then for the image two, we're just gonna say um, background uh, image URL two dot jpeg, and then we're gonna say background size cover. So same setup. So here's the image container. Um, we also want to make it the same width and everything. So width one hundred percent and this one also needs to be width 100% and height also height 100% so just set that on both of those and these also need to be in position absolute so that way they can stack on top of each other now for that to work you need to set the image container to position relative okay all right so now that we got all this position things set up we can take this div and we can add in the div um, for the image for the images um, I'm not really going into great detail on the HTML setup because I really want to focus on just the um, the JavaScript which we haven't even started yet okay Ah, sublime text. All right, so so we have this, and if I did it right, we should see yes, we should see this. 
Um, what we expect to see is we expect to see the image number two, which is that green plant. Um, we expect that to see that on the top because it comes lower in the order and they're position absolute. So that's exactly what we want to see. So let me show you what I mean when the background size covers. See how when I stretch it, it fills up the div, but it doesn't go any shorter than um, doesn't go any shorter than the height of it, which is really nice. So, uh, let me get my uh, let me get my browser back here. All right, so that's looking really good so far. So now we can actually start the JavaScript. So we're gonna say script type equals text slash JavaScript. Okay, and we're just gonna say script and the script there. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down. So we're gonna we're gonna open up the jQuery by typing dollar sign function and we're gonna make sure we have a semicolon there okay so we're gonna define a function called rotate so uh, here's a rotate um, actually we want to define the function so function rotate alright so here's our here's where we're gonna do our function so basically what we need to do is we need to take this image show it for X amount of seconds and then fade it out and move it before this image. So we want to insert it there with the jQuery. I'll show you what I mean. So first let's say um, uh, let's do image uh, image container and then you want to say div because we're targeting each div inside of that and we want to say dot last dot um, fade out function okay so that fade out function um, sorry we have to put in the time there so fade out 500 function so every half second it'll do this all right so because uh, this is in milliseconds so basically what we said was we want to take the last div inside the image container and we want to fade it out and after it's done fading out we're going to um, we're gonna say this so basically the last one dot insert before and then we want to say um, image container dot first okay and then so image container dot first and then we want to um, also say dot CSS display and we want to say um, oh no we want to we don't even need that we just need to say dot show so because when you fade it out it applies the hidden attribute to it so we're gonna say okay we're gonna insert it before the first one and then we're gonna show it so that way it's ready to be rotated again so now if we did this right I'm just gonna put rotate up here if we did this right it should fade out as soon as I refresh the page so let's do that alright well it kind of messed up a little bit but look it fades properly and then it stretches for some reason so we gotta do that we gotta fix that alright so I found the mistake the mistake here is image container div it needs to be div right there alright so now it should work the way we want it to yes okay so see how it faded out the red is still there um, that's just because it takes a while for the image to load the images to load and you can't see it but get rid of the red and it looks fine alright so I'm going to change this to actually a one second transition. Transition. All right, so that's what we get there. Um, but we don't want it to rotate when we refresh. So now we have that function. We can do a set interval, and um, what this is going to do is this is going to do on an interval. It's going to. Uh, So basically what I have set here is like on an interval of five seconds, it'll do the the rotate function every time. 
this uh, this program or this language is so iffy. Okay, so set interval function, and yeah, so that's what you want to do. So now let's refresh the page, and in five seconds it should repeat. There we go. See, look, it rotated the image, and another five seconds it should rotate that one and show the other one again. Uh, so here's here's another thing that you gotta watch out for. This insert before you need to have an extra little. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. You need to have a dollar sign there. So you want to insert before this. Whoops, what just happened. You want to insert it before. Um, yes. So this. What is going on? This stuff first. Okay. All right, so we can actually replace this with this. Okay, so this dot last, no dot dot last. I was messing around, seeing to get trying to get it to work. So this should work. This dot insert before, and then you want to insert it before the image container div first, and then show it. So let's see um, if I finally managed to do it right. Should work. And why is all right? Chrome is not working for some reason. So okay, so here is the um, here is the um, website. So there it goes rotating. And let's see if it yeah look rotates rotates just fine. Um, the good thing about this script is let me just make sure that this is uh, working properly. Yes. Okay. You can always open the inspector and make sure that these are switching orders. So we should see image two down here go up. Yep. So, um, but yeah, so this is really nice because you can actually add in more of these. It's not dependent on how many of these are in here. So if you wanted to have up to 10 images or more, you can just keep adding in D div ID image three, image four, you know. So um, I'm just going to leave this this little part up on the screen right now so if you want to like pause the video and make sure that you can compare your code and stuff like that but um, yeah so I hope this uh, I hope this tutorial helped and um, sorry for all the little mistakes but it <laughs> it can be really iffy sometimes getting all the formatting and all of the the syntax and stuff correct but anyway hope this helped um, uh, like and favorite and subscribe and uh, until next time see you later